the first and foremost thing was his comfort. That was the biggest thing to me was for him to be as comfortable as possible. And um, I did everything I could to make that happen because I was one of those parents that would do everything that I could for him, which was, you know, physical therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, you know, going back and forth to the hospitals and all those things two or three times a week. And um, he had pool therapy too for his piece, part of his PT. He loved it. Oh my God, he loved it. <laughs> he would get in the water and he would just go to sleep. <laughs> he would get so relaxed. And his therapist would just keep working. <laughs> she would just keep swaying in the water. <laughs> he absolutely loved it. But um, we had to give it up. I did not want to give up pool therapy, but you had to do land therapy if you wanted to do pool therapy. So you had to do both. You couldn't just do one or the other with his insurance. So that was a bummer. But um, I realized that I had to stop all of it because it was hurting him more than it was helping him. But the, the mom in me, the one that was, you know, grieving all of these different circumstances and wanting to see him get better and be around for all these years, that mom was like, we're going to go to therapy, going to keep those legs loose, keep those muscles from getting too tight, <laughs> we're going to do all this. That was not what was best for him. And I had to really, you know, look at myself and see why I was doing it and understand. And that's when... I began to realize and understand all the feelings that I was having just as far as, again, that grieving aspect of being a mom and knowing that, okay, Aubrey, he, he's not going to get better in this way. So all these therapies that are actually hurting him because his body just was not capable. And I had to accept that. And once I accepted it, you know, we came home and I was like, we're just going to make him as comfortable as possible. I'm going to give him his little toy that he loves, which I keep <laughs> beside my desk. It was his favorite. He would just chew on it. So, so we're just going to keep him there and, you know, keep him comfortable, keep him rotated, give him his breathing treatments, you know, keep all of his upkeep, but I wanted him to be able to relax and I wanted him to be happy and I wanted him to be in as minimal pain as possible because I know he suffered from a lot of pain and that was my biggest concern when I made that choice. And over that course of that year, I wanted him to just be as comfortable and happy. His happiness was my happiness. <laughs> and that was all she wrote. And that was what I tried my best to do for him.